upfront and very honest. Creativity is an addiction. It will rip your heart apart and somehow very creatively will put it back together again like Humpty Dumpty. I don't know. But yet we allow it to beat us up. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Some days you feel like Superman, don't you? It's like, dun, 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 dun. Other mornings you feel like, oh, oh, my God. Was that a hockey fight I was in last night? Was it a professional wrestling match? W what hit my body? Whew. Lot going on these days. I've got two very, 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 very close friends. And, and the strangest thing about it is two very close friends who, who happen to share the same name, Bill. Both have been hit with this COVID-19. BA.5. They said it was going to get bad. Whew. And then I had two co-workers a couple of weeks ago. They were out for 10 days. BA.5. We're walking around like this thing doesn't exist anymore. No, I'm not. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not going to be a Debbie Downer. I'm just saying that here we are two and a half years into this and it's still kicking us in the knees. It kind of reminds me of when I was in combat karate and and my sensei, he would look at me and he would say, CT, we don't kick to the head in combat karate. Why not, man? They do in the movies. This is not a movie. This is reality kick the knee take out the towers boom down they go it feels like that's what we're in everything in the real world is kicking us in the knee and it's like oh my god oh oh my god and and you just keep moving forward hey it's arrow this is the daily mess a chronological walk in an everyday world i am a daily writer i observe life like a silent wolf in the brush watching patiently waiting and then you document it. This is the Daily Mess. A full day is ahead of us. How often do you say that? Ah, guys, come on now. We got a full day ahead of us. A full day ahead of us. Only to wake up tomorrow wondering why that full day feels like forever. And yet the rest that we got last night felt like five minutes. It's like a dream. They seem to last all night. And then research shows the length of most dreams are just, just a moment. Now, through Nidra meditation, I've tried to place my awareness in the areas of less dreams and more peace, identifying what's real versus collecting a mental image. That's that's what you got to do. You've got to find that strength to put a pause on the dreams and become a member of this new day. Dreams, they're not physical, but a full day is. Be it working or binge watching a television show for there to be a full day ahead of us. All that is physical requires enough time and space for it to materialize. You know as well as I do that dreams constantly change. While using Nidra meditation, the physical act of mindfulness acts as a guard to keep the bad dreams totally away from you, from your heart, from your soul. But it requires a lot of patience. You can't just bounce into Nidra meditation and go, ta-da, I'm fixed. Hmm. I wish it was that easy. But then again, as, as the preacher man would say, he would say, if you can instantly be fixed like that, you can instantly go back. Ooh, come on now. Give me an amen. <laughs> A full day ahead of us. It's so difficult to put your steps out there because you don't know what's happening with your full day. You can escape a dream. You can't escape a full day. Even if you decide, nah, I'm not going into work today. I'm feeling kind of lazy. I'm having a mental day. You still have to physically live out the full day in front of us. And it does. It feels like it lasts forever. And when you get home, I, I think I'm going to take a 12-hour nap. Boom. Just like that, it's over with. And it's like, wait, there's 24 hours in a day. If I went to work and I put in a, a full day ahead of us and it was 12 hours and I got 12 hours of sleep... Why doesn't that 12 hours feel like the 12 hours where we're physically out there in the world? I don't know. I, I don't need an expert to write to me. I get it. Your mind, body, and soul shuts off. But how can we make the day better when we're fully involved with the day that's in front of us? And what, what I do is I say I make a choice. I don't have a job. Coming into the studio isn't a job either. It's the power of choice. 
My choice is, today I think I'm going to go and I'm going to go to work. And if you heard in the background, that was my dog Jazzy. She made a choice that she was going to participate with this conversation. She doesn't agree with me right now because she feels this full day in front of me, she needs to be on her walk right now. Hmm. That's a good choice. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.